good morning friends and welcome to tech forums 28th episode today we have mr girish ranade who is a director of futura episol private limited friends earlier uh, the lecture was planned by mr abhijit sathe ceo mit pune unfortunately because of his some personal engagement he was not able to join and mr girish ranade joined us thank you very much girish for this gesture uh, the Welcome. subject today that he is going to talk <laughs> is a very very interesting topic for those who are working in the instrumentation field that is automation for test equipment basically it is uh, very much useful for the harness manufacturers and uh, be, uh, auto having automation in a bigger scale of course about futura girish ranade himself will give you introduction when he started this activity uh, what are his present products and what are his plans for the future girish is basically a design engineer electronic design engineer by education and started his company in 1988 Uh, after working for two years in industry, and he is running it now uh, uh, with very good YOI growth. Uh, without spending much time, I will give him the microphone to introduce about Futura Episol Private Limited. Over to Mr. Girish Ranade. Uh, thank you, Rabade sir. <coughs> good morning, everybody. Uh, just as brief introduction about myself and our company um i have done electronics and telecommunication engineering in uh, 84 uh, from msu baroda and then post graduation from indian institute of science where they have now a department called desc earlier it was called cedt it was a one year post graduate course and it was completely on electronics design so by education i am a design engineer and it happens that my passion is also now electronics uh, design i started this company in 1988 as a design consultancy organization and uh, somehow i stumbled upon a few um, equipments or requirements that uh, futura turned to automation in testing so for a long time now for many years we are into uh, automation in testing customized as well as standard products currently our standard and most popular product is a wiring harness tester or cable harness tester which we are making since 1994 and as i said i just stumbled upon that product and carried on with it as a standard product our website is futuras.com www.futuras.com which is uh, available if anyone is interested they can go to in uh, detail just to tell more about the uh, wiring harness tester uh, i'll just mention about harness i uh, i know that many of us know what is wiring harness but still uh, wiring harness it is a bunch of cables that runs in say a two wheeler or a vehicle because we commonly know that a vehicle has a wiring harness or automotive has a wiring harness so it goes from one end to the other with different couplers and different types of couplers different types of wires and everything now uh, how this harness name came in just an interesting uh, story as i read about it i think Uh, ford henry ford when he did this mass production of his uh, vehicle his four wheeler he uh, gave this name to harness harness basic meaning is horse ghoda cha lagam which runs from front to back and everything so i think that's why this word came into use now coming to wiring harness testing it is a simple tester right now what we have it is a in one sentence we can call it as a continuity tester at one shot but though the phrase is quite simple to know it's quite complicated and complex now let us look at a simple thing that where are harnesses used not only vehicles automotive we all know like right from two wheeler tractor everywhere 
um, heavy vehicles. It is also used in railways. It is also used in metros. It is also also used in various standard panels, all te telecommunication cables, then uh, welding machines, all equipments. You name it, and there is a wiring harness. And uh, another uh, very good example is all white goods, all washing machine, refrigerator, uh, microwave, air conditioner. Everything has wiring harness. So we are supplying uh, wiring harness testing equipment, not to OEs, but their first tier, second tier, third tier suppliers, vendors. And uh, these vendors are not uh, generally known because they don't advertise or they are not known, they are attached to their OEs. But there are huge number of multinational wiring harness manufacturers, which are unimaginable to know the scale. Like the number one currently is known as Yazaki, whose presence is almost in 130 countries all over the globe. And they are huge factories. And uh, uh, it is, I mean, uh, there are for very, from very small or um, very small scale or micro scale industry to multinational, everyone is there in wiring harness making. Now, uh, currently, we are working on uh, one or two things. That is, our products will be ready. One is high voltage testing in a wiring harness. It is a big challenge because low voltage as well as high voltage testing has to be carried out without disconnecting anything. So we are working on it. I hope it will be ready in another uh, month's time. And then we are also working on a uh, harness with uh, register built in to check the harness with built-in resistance and diodes and capacitor. And next, we are also working on data capturing and uh, also uh, loading it on cloud, collecting data from each and every tester and loading it on cloud and analyzing and giving dashboards. So that is a brief about Futura. And coincidentally, as we entered automation and testing, we have done a lot of customized and uh, some of the standard uh, equipment also of course standard equipment i have already told one of one or two and customized also we have done very odd uh, test equipments i would like to mention one or two one is core testing equipment core testing equipment is very unusual right cut core c core of it you know or toroid so once it's made it, it has to be tested and there are standards available how to test so according to standard, we have done one or two test equipment long time back, of course, not now. So uh, then uh, some of the test equipments for uh, timers, like uh, we are well known GIC here. A long time back, not now, not recently, but maybe about 15, 20 years back, we have done a, uh, at a time multiple timers to be tested. So that is our, about uh, uh, brief about uh, myself and uh, Futura. Now coming to the subject, our today's subject that is automation and testing. One minute. So automation and testing, I think comes from urge to give our customers a very good product or the best product. And I think it is there in our philosophy. So that is what is the urge to give um, a best quality product. Ani apla kade Shri Ramana Shabri ni bora dili. He test karunas dili. So that is how it goes. That testing. So basically, it is to ensure desired desired quality of an item. So why testing is to ensure that we are giving correct thing, the quality thing, thing to the uh, our customers. And it's very simple. It's a basic thing that how do we do it? That by measuring parameters of that uh, particular uh, under test equipment or gadget or whatever it is, and comparing the measured value against those we have specified. We know that uh, these are th the parameters have to lie within these values and to compare those within this value. That is how testing is done. Everyone knows, but I've just mentioned here. Now, actually, cost of testing, let us look at this. Testing is a process which never adds a value. So it is 
quite not welcomed by manufacturers but it it is a value saver it is not value adder if you see there is always red carpet to all cnc machines vmc machines assembly machines uh, machining centers moldings everything there is red carpet and test equipment is the last item which comes in picture or uh, everyone unwillingly so called unwillingly they um, get these test equipments my experience is that unless the customer uh, makes it mandatory to manufacturer or to the supplier people are quite reluctant reluctant about uh, getting test equipment and they get only testing process only uh, that much what is needed for customer confidence so testing what it does it adds nothing to the product but it adds confidence only in customer now but in absence of testing what happens how the value goes if we consider that there are, there are say four stages like purchase and then making sub assembly one sub assembly two uh, and making final product at our end and then at customer end if these are the four stages then at every stage the cost of the cost of giving service or cost of not testing price we pay for not testing goes 10 times at each stage for example if we purchase a simple say we'll take an example of transistor because i am in from electronics i would like to mention that give that example and we just don't test it and we take it directly to the assembly line and suppose at that point the transistor goes faulty and at while checking that sub assembly we know that this transistor is faulty then the cost of suppose checking only in inward in Q inspection is 10 rupees then the cost of checking a faulty transistor at sub assembly level and correcting it is 100 rupees suppose we even don't check at it at that point and make a final equipment and at final uh, whatever uh, product uh, is faulty then to find out that this transistor is faulty and it has to be replaced price goes 10 times than previous stage that is 1000 rupees and suppose we even don't test that and the product goes to customer and there it it is uh, faulty then the cost is 10000 rupees for correction so the cost uh, it is mainly saving of cost right uh, the testing process even though it does not add value it saves lot of uh, cost to the company now so uh, testing is important for any manufactured item that is what is uh, the statement and test automatic test equipment can be a huge equipment like this can be a simple equipment like this it has mainly two three two parts let us uh, look at those while we go on automation of testing what are the advantage these are almost similar to any automation advantage first is enhances speed of testing now to come to this point let us imagine a harness or um, two wheeler suppose 10000 two wheelers are made per day and there are 10000 harnesses to be checked to be made and to be checked then it's quite impossible for manually to do it without any automation so it enhances the speed of automation and, and uh, that is the basic uh, automation advantage which is already there it increases accuracy in testing man in manual testing there can be errors of course so automation in testing every time the accuracy of testing is same then deskilling this is a very important part deskilling of the testing a very what we can say is uh, uh, otherwise what we need is a very skilled person for testing automation in testing makes it uh, remove skill from it for example the person who is at the uh, at that line at that station of testing suppose we give that only look at green and red lamp and if red lamp put it in left side and if green lamp put it on right side then it is completely deskilled testing otherwise if there is something to be looked at oscilloscope and to check the voltage and uh, check waveform then the we definitely need 
more skilled operator at that uh, station so deskilling is one of the very important parts of automation in testing data storage for analysis that is obvious because uh, this data will give lot of uh, information about operator speed about the components we use about our suppliers and lot many things and it definitely builds customer confidence because customer knows that each and every part is being tested and uh, that's why it's customer confidence definitely increases another point is programmability the same station same automotive uh, test equipment or that station can be used for, for different different components different parts different products by just simply programming of course if it has to be designed for all those parts but by simply changing a program we can use the same station for variety of uh, different variants as they call it in industry so these are the basic advantages of uh, automation in testing let us move further to know what are commonly used abbreviations everyone might be aware of this but still ats are uh, is a common term used for automatic test equipment ats is the complete test system uut is unit under test for example uh, people sometimes call hut the like harness under test this term is uut is a very common term or some people call dut also device under test let us look at some terms more terms used like cycle time it is a uh, as it suggests it is a time duration from start of one cycle to the start of the next for example a uh, uh, part to be tested the operator picks up part from a uh, bin or a tray mounts it on uh, the test equipment and the fixture and the complete cycle is completed and then he picks next part that is known as cycle time and of course it has to match the production levels otherwise the number has to be increased something like that so it is a different study altogether fixture or rig rig is a quite common word in testing uh, test rig what they call or uh, in uh, uh, assembly or they used to they call it fixture it's for holding the uut and it is a mounting of uut which connects gets connected to the test equipment adaptation is a very common german word of course it is simply connection between the test equipment and the unit under test so or it, it sometimes includes fixture also so it is they call it adaptation now let us look at basics of an automatic test equipment it is these are all uh, maybe known because testing is done by applying specific inputs to uut of course if i the power supply is to be given to uut that is a input to uh, uut and we measure the outputs which are specified and of course comparing them with the acceptable limits and after comparison we indicate results if there are 10 parameters to be measured one by one parameters are measured and it indicates the result by comparing all of them whether they lie um, limits or not let's go ahead main blocks of at it's a very simple uh, thing for example now let us look at this uut that is unit under test which is mounted on fixture it first goes to switching switching form is a very important part in automatic test equipment or it is then isolation or switching as required then there are inputs to this through this switching goes to uut and uut outputs also go through switching and it goes to an intelligent unit where inputs and outputs are connected where the intelligent unit or uh, which has stored data or program uh, data which uh, switches correct switching um, items and uh, passes on input to uut and through outputs it measures correct uh, results and compares and also displays results whether the uh parameter is okay or not and likewise it measures as many parameters as we have programmed and designed for so this is a very simple block diagram it is uh, and uh, the as i said switching or isolation is 
uh, very important. Now we'll we'll look at all these blocks independently. Inputs or generators. All this this list is quite random. There is nothing sequence. Nothing in sequence or nothing is important. Nothing is unimportant. I am just giving an examples of what could be the inputs. Like frequency generator. If the one of the inputs is a variable frequency, and we are giving uh, those frequencies, then it could be one of the uh, input uh, gadget. Power supplies, fixed or programmable, depending on our testing equipment. Electronic loads could be one of the inputs. I'm calling it as input because it has to be connected to the UUT as a variable, as input from our side. VFD, suppose there, there is a, for a, I've just given an example. Suppose there are variable speeds to be, uh, something has to be measured at different different speeds, then VF, VFD can be used for uh, varying speed. Maybe air pressure or applied force sometimes that that has to be measured in case of say load cell if it is a, it is automatic then we have to apply particular measured force and that that can be input and then the output of load cell can be checked so these are these are just simple examples of input generate inputs or whatever we can call generator what can be output to measure measurements it can be multimeter which is a very basic uh, requirement or maybe a simple adc circuit or an oscilloscope and uh, maybe some digital inputs, some force measurement, maybe time measurement. And nowadays quite popular in vision system is camera. So these are quite different types of uh, output gadgets or output uh, measurements. We can think of umpteen of them. It's not restricted up to this only, but these are a bit popular uh, output gadgets. Then what could be brain or CPU or controller? It can be a PC, simple PC, which can be industrial, commercial, uh, as we design. Maybe simply an em embedded system-based controller. And thirdly, it, it, may not, it may not be both. It may be a simple digital or analog circuit based on requirement. It can be, uh, I mean, there is no, may not be needed a CPU. A microcontroller is not always needed. But nowadays, I mean, uh, slightly deviating from this, as we say that uh, when, when you see a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Likewise, our uh, current generation, everything they solve by microcontrollers only. So everybody goes to microcontroller solution, even if the solution is very simple. So th these are the CPU or brain or controller which can be used in a automatic test equipment. Then switching or isolation, as we know that relays is one of the most basic uh, uh, switching mechanism. It can be electromechanical or solid state, and it can be a huge bank of relays for switching. And uh, because if the depend based on the number of parameters or anything, or we can use digital switches or sw I, what I mean I call digital switch. It can be simply multiplexer, demultiplexer or uh, coder, decoder, maybe in digital, but, or even analog switches can be used. There are quite popular analog uh, switches available um, in uh, as ICs. Those can be used, or even manual switches. If the design is such that uh, I would call it semi-automatic, but if the design is such that only simply some um, manually switch it has to be switched it can be used so the switching or isolation we have seen now four blocks all the four blocks that what it can be let us move for, uh, further now these all have to be communicated with each other so what are the communication channels and there are everybody knows that rs232 rs485 or uh, the sub protocol called modbus is quite popular but in, interestingly, every uh, all old school people will will remember that HPIV or GPIV, that is General Purpose Instrumentation Bus, which was uh, uh, designed by HP. That was quite popular earlier. It was basically designed for this purpose only, for connecting various existing instruments like scope, multimeter, or uh, uh, frequency generator, frequency counter. All these much could be connected together using this bus 
this is a parallel bus also nowadays it is not so popular i did not see many of these uh, nowadays because of maybe ethernet and usb is available usb is another nowadays popular uh, bus which is available you will find a few gadgets which can be connected through usb ethernet is also now popular and uh, ethernet is i think widely used now for of course we use it daily for uh, networking same way many of the equipments or gadgets are coming with ethernet output which can be connected and there can be a self designed non standard bus or non standard protocol uh, so all these communication channels can be uh, definitely used to communicate between each block as we have seen here the pc can uh, or uh, that those can interconnect with all input or generators and through also with communicate with switching or isolation um, banks and also communicate with outputs or measurement and then in turn uut will be appropriately connected to inputs and outputs and the results can be uh, checked using these communication channels let us go ahead some examples this is a little bit blur image i have taken it from uh, web only so it could be one of the examples of a test equipment this is another example which is huge uh, and i could see that on left hand side there is some a uh, picture which is uh, where the part is mounted and it's getting tested now this is one of our equipment i'm uh, putting uh, just showing it as an example this is a wiring harness tester and uh, this can test up to 2000 points of wiring harness and it is a pc based tester and uh, so uh, there is programmability there it shows where is the fault and what is the fault and a lot of data uh, storing and all these things and as i said it can go up to 2000 points of um testing 2000 points of wiring harness tester so harnesses are really nowadays uh, complex harnesses are there we go up to 2000 points and uh, just talking about this we are not into defense and aerospace those two requirement functionality requirements are uh, quite different they need huge high voltage testing which we don't have and we don't plan to go into that also because 5000 volt ac and dc checking they it, it will need a lot of um, switching high voltage switching and all those things and their requirements are quite stringent obviously it has to be and aerospace uh, uh, harnesses are huge harnesses running into tens of 10000 points and so on so currently we are not into that field and so we are basically apart other from defense and aerospace we are there into all other field this is another harness checker the board you you are uh, looking at uh, in front of it now any test system has mainly two parts one is as i explained that to mount a uut that is fixture or rig so the board here you are uh, looking at in front is a uh, test fixture or mounting or rig part and the there is another part of automatic test equipment which is which will be get connected to this board and then test according to the program or few people like to call it recipe so that is the uh, this is the test system now with reference to auto industry auto customers they expect 100% tested components so because if, nowadays since last say 20 years the invert qc department from all ways have gone there is no invert qc department because it obviously it is vendor's responsibility to give correct product which is practically very right so the customers expect that each and every component or product or whatever assembly sub assembly is 100% tested and a popular term used is end of line because it, this test equipment is sits at the end of the assembly line after complete assembly eol end of line tester is there which checks all the parameters so this is obvious that 100% tested components are expected by auto industry 
and because nowadays components directly go to the assembly line and we have already heard that all many vendors have their person at assembly line so if something goes wrong then they have to uh, correct it there there itself so the whole responsibility is now vendor's responsibility which is right in uh, which is correct actually so it should be free from any defect as uh, if we do some calculations and so if to make 5000 uh, two wheelers per day so the cycle time might come to around say 30 40 seconds per vehicle so it's practically impossible if something goes wrong to detect and to correct it at that point they have to it has to be kept aside and the next vehicle takes it traceability is required because of lot of quality stringent norms this traceability word is quite popular now and it is definitely required because there are few words which i can say that root cause is important because if a faulty component goes to a customer then all our uh, quality norms it may be iso 9000 or uh, 16949 whatever the ts standard is there so it is it is a vendor's responsibility to find out why that fault has occurred and to correct the cause so the root cause analysis is very important and for that traceability is required suppose within one year if the vehicle goes into i am giving a example of vehicle because that is very common and known to all if vehicle goes into market and uh, after 6 months something fails then the part which has failed that will come back to the supplier so first thing is supplier identification why which supplier it has been given and the supplier has to find out lot of things like who has assembled who has uh, um, tested and all these things so that traceability is required for any um, automotive uh, part supplied and vendor also should increase customer confidence by adopting various methods in process so these in at various process points uh, vendor has to work on it and then adopt various method to increase customer confidence let us go ahead so the supplier or vendor what they expect from test equipment is very low cycle time of course a reliable and measurement then fault detection and reporting so that the corrections can be made easily data storage is another expectation and this is the online label printing with date and time of passing a component for traceability so the it is a very simple uh, what you call requirement that any end of line tester if it tests and say passes that particular unit under test then it has to print a online label the usual practice is to print say 1000 labels from pc through a one simple one um, say label printer and then those how that 1000 uh, bunch is given to the operator and the operator puts one by one that is not allowed nowadays so whenever the unit under test is passed through that particular end of line tester then and then only label printing should get activated and the for traceability all real time data like date and time of testing and time of passing then what is the variant and all such things are are printed on that particular label and that label is taken and pasted on uut so the label quality also has to be uh, that uh, good and correct whatever is required so this online label printing is another very important expectation from uh, say oes oes comes down to when uh, vendors vendors comes down to automatic test equipment suppliers and marking on a correct component so it is something similar so in some cases there are laser printers used after passing the laser printer marks on the on one of on the component so these are some of the expectations uh, by Uh, from automatic test equipment manufacturer or designer for from uh, so which component manufacturers or automotive industry expects hence mistake or mistake proofing or poka okay how can it be done that holding a faulty component till authorized person release this so there is there is a fault the component has to be the fixture has to be designed in such a way that it will hold it and it will not be released unless and until authorized person comes and releases it 
there are various reasons like there is the tendency of operator to put the faulty component in right uh, correct bin uh, which can so that can go to the uh, supplier oe or a, a customer so sorry uh, that can faulty component can go to the customer so poka or mistake proofing has to be done at every stage or uh, another uh, example is for a faulty component next cycle only starts after placing the component in faulty bin or they call some people call it red bin red bin has a sensor so unless and until this faulty component goes into that sensor and that sensor senses if the for a component is faulty or part is faulty then only the next cycle starts and test report of faults as per customer's requirement so these can be uh, really features in automatic test equipment now iot is currently very popular so what it can do it can log all test data we can one can analyze the log data of course and the analysis can be which are the faults occurring frequently and then to, to go to the root cause and then change the supplier or uh, uh, your uh, change make the supplier aware that these are the faults you can further work on it so these are the very uh, the good advantages of analysis then uh, time study can be carried out and uh, whatever are delays those can be handled vendor evaluation it is one almost similar then a dashboard of with real time updates every time the manager or the senior person need not ask the junior one that what is the quantity abhi kitna hua hai kitna order hai kya hua hai so everything it comes on a dashboard so by simply clicking on uh, say uh, dashboard or using a web application these things can be made available real time to all concerned and of course minimizing manual errors so let us go ahead it is a required we uh, we may be knowing but pharma is one of the very important industry where uh, it is are used missing tablets you can find that we have not come across at least i have not come across any uh, pharma tablet strip where tablet is missing so the test equipment finds it out uh, after production that if tablet is missing or not correct printing of name is done or not then batch is correct or not pharma industry is quite strict about their quality norms definitely it has to be um, and correct printing of leaflets is done or not even leaflets which are which go inside they are correctly printed or not because these are all and as we see we if we purchase a, say syrup or something there is a folded leaflet inside so the leaflet has to be of the same syrup if it comes from different syrup so these are the norm where uh, where pharma industry is quite strict about and everywhere here automatic automation in testing is done another is food sorting quality of raw as well as finished items and correct filling uh, we have given our one of the test equipments to a company called orange sorting that they are located in coimbatore and what they do is only sorting machines so they, they uh, find out quality of sorting i suppose i think they do it for grains and for uh, fruits everywhere so food items uh, or even packed foods also they have to may, uh, there has to be some testing automotive all components in we all know that each and every and for that matter each and every industry needs um, automation in testing what are the points to remember that while making a test equipment that if there is standard available we must take reference of that standard and next point is as in any measuring instrument we design uh, appropriate accuracy we have to select uh, inputs and output uh, uh, instruments or gadgets i would say or uh, circuits which are of appropriate accuracy as per our requirement and of course calibration facility is another important aspect of uh, uh, automatic test system every measurement system or every testing equipment has to have calibration uh, built in then communication without errors since we are using now lot of communication channels uh, we have to ensure that this all these communication channels will be error free self diagnosis is uh, an important 
uh, what I can say, functionality in an automatic test equipment. Then factory setting is a simple thing. That is, uh, if something goes wrong, then the factory setting can be uh, asked to set. Ease of programming of different for different variants. So if the if there are different different variants to be checked on the same system, then the programming has to be quite easy. This thing has to be kept in mind. Then easy changing of test rigs because if the uh, as we know there is an example if if someone wants to change the plastic molding die, then it takes a lot of time for uh, setting. So and it is obvious, but in testing case the change has to be quite simpler it must be fast then uh, uh, as we use banks of switches switching effects are also uh, to be considered protection of test equipment from a defective uut this is the this part one has to consider because if the uh, unit under test itself is defective then it should not damage the test equipment that is one of the important aspects we have to remember and maybe many more Whatever I have felt that these I have mentioned here, and most importantly, when we design a, a, a what you call product or sub-assembly or assembly or component, the during design itself the testing aspect has to be thought of. For example, if we if there are say ten points to be checked after test plan, my next sentence is that test plan or test process has to be uh jotted down during design itself then the test plan if there are 10 points all those 10 points should come should be accessible for a test equipment automatic test equipment so maybe they are got, brought on a connector and then the uh, connector goes uh, to the test equipment and that and then it tests something like that of course and uh, we also can find out uh, test costs or what is the um, what, how much one has to spend on testing from design stage itself. And based on the test plan or test process, the resources can be made available in time. So something uh, related to design for testing, and it is a very important aspect. Generally, we tend to make a test equipment available only after the product is ready. And then we say that, yes, these are things to be designed. So if we design for testing, Many things will be available at the fingertip and we can easily go for automation of that particular testing. In this is the last slide, slumber in uh, summation, automation and testing is important and essential for manufacturing industry. It is our programmable intelligent systems. It is can be configured as per requirement and it is enhanced product quality in all respects. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Any questions and answers I will be happy to answer. Hello. Uh, thank you, Girish, for this wonderful presentation. We thank really you. appreciate it's a bunch of uh, information at one uh, point, and it's really uh, useful for those who are working in the automotive as well as industrial automation. Uh, we will go for question and answer session. Uh, I request participants to identify themselves, tell your name, your business, and then ask question. So the platform is open for question and answer. Hello, uh, I'm Vijay Ghate. I have a question or a suggestion. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. Yeah. Uh, do you have any example of how data was used uh, for benefit, such as uh, any prevention or any prediction and so on? Uh, any real life example? Um, right now, we are working on our test equipment, but uh, uh, you also uh, you are you may be also aware that uh, a very popular thing currently is uh, predictive maintenance where vibration and all such many many parameters are noted and uh, uh, that is basically uh, sort of we can say it as testing and based on that it can be uh, predicted another example i will give you data how it can be done um, i suddenly remembered in uh, harness line i can give you a simple example yeah. In harness line uh, or in any line, the jointing process is always defined as critical process in quality terms. 
uh, as so similarly crimping is a jointing process it is a mechanical process actually where a wire is crimped to a terminal and there are lakhs of types of terminals and different different types of wire so it is basically run done on a crimping machine which is a purely mechanical machine and uh, by force it comes i don't have any pictures right now to show but crimping is a purely mechanical process and since any joint cannot be checked after the process whether the joint is correct or not same way in crimping also that it cannot be just checked whether it is correct or not so the process improvement is the only uh, mechanism where they uh, do it so during crimping what they do they call it crimp force monitor so every uh, crimp that is done the force is analyzed force is measured and for programming what is the correct force first 40 minimum 40 samples that the statistic says minimum 40 samples are taken into consideration and that they are programmed and uh, then they find out the upper and lower limit so crimp force monitor is a good example of the data how it can be used so every crimp um, every crimp that is done that is force is measured and it is compared between pre programmed values and then it is noted that whether the uh, crimp joint is good or bad and then it is either passed on or um uh, rejected i think that is one of the examples which i have remembered suddenly okay thank you thank you hello hello i am shashi gangal uh, i am from i am an academician uh, i have a question on noise because when you are saying about the number of uh, uh test points and number of wires going and speed of measurement noise is a culprit so how to how do you how you take care of these noise sources while designing your uh test equipment uh, very difficult question to answer because it all depends on the system design now yeah, but, uh, typical typical uh, uh, care to be taken Yes, yes. All those standard cares we have to take. I'll give you a small example. Now, when we designed our harness tester way back in '94, suppose, mm. and we used all analog uh, switches, the popular IC is 4053, which is uh, there are three switches in it. It is a uh, Philips made or an XP made, and it is also it is made by others also. But uh, typically, what used to happen is that. our all input that is harness points used to go to um, these switches directly sorry i am mm -hmm. talking a bit of more technical thing but i would like to give this example now yeah. suddenly what happened that when we gave it to customers the what we call as io card where there there were almost 22 23 such 4053s analog switch ics suddenly mm -hmm. those uh, few of the cards used to come back after certain use of uh, test equipment those those cards were uh, becoming faulty i would say and they used to come back then we thought that what could be the reason and then it was our guesswork but it worked like it was only esd because all over india it is like and uh, from person to person the static charge which a person uh gathers yeah. is yeah. different in different or in different seasons also yes and yes. the uh, harness point that is a wiring harness point is directly connected to this ic so if any person who is charged is he touches the wire it, the charge used to go directly to uh, this high voltage like few kvs as we know 30 uh, 30 kv maybe so that used to go to this ic and that ic used to get damaged then what we did is that we did a small we did a very small correction like adding uh, clamping diodes in that yeah. and then it worked yeah. really it, it has worked for quite well for last more, more than 15 20 years now something like that we have to really find out what is the system requirement and then take yeah. action it depends upon case to case yeah yeah it will definitely depend on from But, design uh, to design while while taking the i mean doing your um, Uh, the, uh, laying the wires for uh, 
uh, automatic test equipment and all are there any uh, typical uh, yeah, all care to be taken yes typical care is uh, doing shielding uh, grounding taking shielding i mean shielded wire is one of the best uh, what you call uh, uh, measures to be taken care of and the signal is digital or analog analog signal what is the level if there are very low level then we have to take more care about it and the pcb design has to be pro properly done and all those all such things are keeping wire short as short as possible so it's all boils down to correct system design i mean it's very difficult to say that these are the only standard measures it will save yeah, that's right. i know and yeah i'll no, give you one more sir mehta bol rahe ha bola bola sir sorry sir mala ek tumcha acha volume testing madhe maza sahbhag hota adi tata motor madhe pressure testing karaycho ami बर हॅलो ऐकायला येत आहे का हो हो व्यवस्थित हा कारण मी रिक्षा मध्ये म्हणून तर एक फंडामेंटल शंक मला अशी विचारायची म्हणजे नवीन जी आता टेक्नॉलॉजी आपण विचार करतो की तुमचे बेसिक सेन्सर तुम्ही ऑन साईट ठेवले सगळे आणि फक्त प्रोसेसिंग हे ऍप बेस जर ठेवलं सेंट्रल सर्व्हरला म्हणजे जर प्रोसेसिंग जास्त असेल आणि तुमची बेसिक तिथली सिस्टीम जर सिम्पल ठेवायची असेल तर तुम्ही सेन्सिंग सगळं तिथं करा आणि तो डेटा तुम्ही मेन सर्व्हरला पाठवून तो फक्त फायनल रिझल्ट त्यांना द्या असं शक्य आहे का सर शक्य सगळं आहे पण ह्याने आपलं पर्पज सर्व होतं का नाही हा प्रश्न आहे शक्य काय आता हे होऊ शकतं ना पण त्या व्यक्तीला कळणार कधी की फ्लॅशर खराब आहे का चांगला आहे तुम्ही डेटा काय किती लांब पाठवू शकता तसं काय प्रॉब्लेम नाही पण त्याचा उपयोग आहे का नाही हे बघायची म्हणजे वेदर एक डोक्यात आयडिया आली की आपण जर सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग एका ठिकाणी ठेवलं फायदा मला काही दिसत नाही तोटा जास्त दिसतो आता माझ्या एक गेल्या दहा पंधरा सेकंदात तुम्ही जे काय सांगितलं त्याच्यावरनं परंतु शक्य तर टेक्निकली शक्य तर सगळं आहे त्याला काही प्रॉब्लेम नाही आणि आणखी एक म्हणजे अशा टेस्टिंग मध्ये नॅशनल इन्स्ट्रुमेंटचे बरेच हार्डवेअर सॉफ्टवेअर प्रोडक्ट डिझाईनला सोपे असतात त्याचा काही तुम्ही उपयोग केलाय का मी उपयोग केलेला आहे ऑलरेडी आता सर हा सगळा प्रश्न आहे ना हा सिस्टीम डिझाईनचा आहे प्रायसिंगचा आहे किमतीचा आहे नॅशनल इन्स्ट्रुमेंट जे पॉप्युलर आहेत त्याच्यात काही वादच नाही जगभर ते पॉप्युलर आहे आणि ते अग्रेसिव्हली मार्केटिंग पण करतात त्याच्यात म्हणजे आणि ते वाईट आहेत असं मी नक्कीच म्हणणार नाही परंतु आपल्या रिक्वायरमेंटला ते सूट होतात का नाही किमतीला सूट होतात का नाही एवढं किंमत त्यांची जास्त असते किंमत जास्त म्हणजे तो सगळा भाग डिझाईन करताना बघण्याचा विषय आहे मेहता साहब थैंक यू गुड क्वेश्चन मिस्टर जगदीश हिज ऑल्सो रेज हिज हैंड तुम्हारे तुम्हें इंट्रोड्यूस करा विचारा मिस्टर जगदीश नमस्कार सर हाँ थैंक यू सर नमस्ते नमस्कार सर जगदीश बोलते नासिक वरुण माझे तीन पॉइंट होते बेसिकली इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स कार्ड मध्य सग मेजर प्रॉब्लम की कंपोनंट तुम्हें जो पहले हाईलाइट के कंपोनंट इज गुड क्वालिटी तुम्हें एक काही टेस्टिंग जीग वगैरे प्रोवाइड करतात का फर्स्ट सेकंड ही कंपोनंट ज्या वेळेस सोल्डरिंग होतात पीसीबी वर तर बऱ्याच कारणास्तव कधी कधी सोल्डरिंगची क्वालिटी व्हिज्युअली चेक करता येत नाही तर त्याच्यासाठी एक सोल्युशन देतं का आणि थर्ड आता जसं आपण डिस्कस केलं त्या पद्धतीने की बरेचसे प्रोडक्ट मायक्रो कंट्रोलर बेस असतात तर ह्या केसमध्ये काय होतं की एक टेस्ट प्रोग्राम कंट्रोलरमध्ये लोड करणं त्याच्यानंतर का टेस्ट करणं आणि तो टेस्ट प्रोग्राम इरेज करून परत मेन प्रोग्राम लोड करणं असं डबल ऍक्टिव्हिटी करायला लागती तर त्या केस मध्ये तुम्ही कसं सोल्युशन देता हा आता पहिलं म्हणजे कॉम्पोनंट सो आम्ही काही कॉम्पोनंट ची जिग्स वगैरे सप्लाय करत नाही ओके नंबर एक परंतु तुम्हाला त्याचा अनालिसिस करायला लागेल तुमचे व्हेंडर्स प्रॉपरली सिलेक्ट करायला लागतील किंवा तुम्ही ऑथोराइज डीलर कडनच घेतले तर तुमचे कॉम्पोनंट चे प्रॉब्लेम बरेचसे कमी होऊ शकतात त्यामुळे कॉम्पोनंट वरून मला एवढंच बोलता येईल आणि ज्या काही तुम्हाला शंका वाटतात की हे कॉम्पोनंट आपले खराब होत आहेत तर ते तुम्ही आत घेतानाच तुम्ही ते चेक करू शकता पॉईंट नंबर दोन सोल्डरिंग सोल्डरिंग हे परत जॉईंटिंग प्रोसेस आहे त्यामुळे त्याच्यानंतर सोल्डर झाल्यावर टेस्ट करण्याची जी क्रिया आहे ती अतिशय काय म्हणतो किचकट आहे म्हणजे ते फार कॉस्टली मशीन आहेत काही काही आहेत ती त्यामुळे सोल्डर ही जी प्रोसेस आहे 
तीच तुम्हाला कंट्रोल करायला लागेल सॉल्डरिंग झाल्यावर फक्त व्हिज्युअल इन्स्पेक्शन नाही तुम्हाला त्याचं टेम्परेचर कंट्रोल करायला लागेल त्याची जे जे काय स्टँडर्ड नॉर्म्स आहेत म्हणजे स्वच्छ पाहिजे दोन्ही लिड्स आणि ते तुम्ही सोल्डर करता ते तुम्ही एस एम डी सोल्डरिंग करत असाल तर सोल्डर पेस्ट विद इन त्या टाइम पाहिजे त्याचं ऍप्लिकेशन व्यवस्थित पाहिजे हे सगळ्या गोष्टी आपल्याला त्या बघायला लागतात तरच ते सोल्डर कम्प्लीट होऊ शकतं सोल्डरिंग हे परत मी सांगतो जॉईंटिंग प्रोसेस असल्यामुळे इट इज डिफाइंड ऍज क्रिटिकल प्रोसेस आणि तुम्हाला प्रोसेस कंट्रोल इज द ओनली अँसर त्याला दुसरं उत्तर काही नाही आणि व्हिज्युअल इन्स्पेक्शन तर करायलाच पाहिजे त्याला काही पर्याय नाही तिसरा जो पार्ट आहे तो मायक्रो कंट्रोलर प्रोग्रामचा आता ह्याच्यात मी फार उत्तर देऊ शकणार नाही कारण तुम्ही मग माझं सिम्पल सोल्युशन असं असेल की तुम्ही एक हायर मायक्रो कंट्रोलर करा आणि त्याच्यात दोन्ही टाका ना ऍट अ टाइम की टेस्ट प्रोग्राम पण राहील आणि फायनल प्रोग्राम पण राहील आणि जे कोण टेस्ट करणार आहेत ते टेस्ट प्रोग्राम करतील मेमरी थोडी जास्त लागेल या व्यतिरिक्त काय होणार असं एक माझं आपल्याला उत्तर असेल सर सपोज तुम्ही अशा टाईपचे सोल्युशन देऊ शकता का काही असं स्पेशल काही कार्ड साठी टेस्टिंग पाहिजे असतं मायक्रो कंट्रोल बेस्ट त्या केसमध्ये तुम्ही कॉन्टॅक्ट करा मला आपण बघू सर डेफिनेटली मी सेपरेटली डिस्कस करू आपण ऑफलाईन हो हो चालेल जगदीश थँक्यू तुमचा प्रश्न छान होता तुमच्या प्रश्नावरून दिसत की तुम्ही मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग मध्ये ऍक्टिव्ह पार्टिसिपेंट करत आहात असं दिसत बोथ सर डिझाईन बेसिकली माय बॅकग्राऊंड इज फ्रॉम डिझाईन बट ऑल दिस चॅलेंजेस फेस ड्युरिंग द प्रोडक्शन लाईन व्हेरी गुड व्हेरी गुड एक्सलंट तुम्ही आपल्या टेक फोरमला या तुम्हाला गिरीश रानडे सरांसारखे अनेक जण मेंबर लाईक माइंडेड मिळतील काही ना तुम्ही उत्तर देऊ शकाल आता लेटेस्ट मूव्ह टू नेक्स्ट आपल्याकडे संकेत भोसले यांनी हँड रेज केले आणि जी एस या नावाने कोणतरी आपले पार्टिसिपंट आहेत त्यांनी हँड रेज केले सो मिस्टर संकेत भोसले कॅन यू इंट्रोड्यूस युअर सेल्फ अँड आज द क्वेश्चन currently working in the manufacturing engineering department so as a major automation is a major part for the team so i have one issue uh, it means uh, in industry vision camera is majorly used but uh, vision camera only detect the color coding and pattern and all things but i have occurred one issue in a paint shop uh, bubble formation and blisters and all those so would you have any uh, provision to detect that issue detect सर मी ह्या आपण जो प्रश्न विचारला त्याच्यातला मी काही एक्सपर्ट नाही ऍक्च्युली परंतु मी एवढंच सांगू शकेन की व्हिजन सिस्टीम मध्ये हा कदाचित येणं शक्य आहे बेस्ड ऑन डिपेंडिंग ऑन करेक्ट युजिंग करेक्ट कॅमेरा म्हणजे काय रिझोल्युशन आणि लाईटिंग सिस्टीम काय पाहिजे हे करू शकलं तर ह्याच्यात नक्की त्या विषयातले तज्ज्ञ आपल्याला नक्की मदत करू शकतील अशी मला खात्री आहे बबल कारण व्हिजननी आपण किती मायक्रो पर्यंत आपण त्यातले डिफेक्ट जाणू शकतो त्यामुळे युझिंग अप्रोप्रिएट कॅमेरा विथ करेक्ट रिझोल्युशन आणि करेक्ट लाईटिंग आणि ह्या सगळ्यांनी आपल्या आपण जर का त्या विषयातल्या तज्ज्ञांना कॉन्टॅक्ट केलं तर नक्की आपल्याला सोल्युशन मिळणार आहे अशी माझी खात्री आहे ह्या फोरम मध्ये कोणी असेल तर ते उत्तर देऊ शकतील माझ्यापेक्षा जास्त चांगली हो सर आपल्याकडे लास्ट प्रोग्रामला स्पीकर होते डॉक्टर करकरे म्हणून त्यांनी या संबंधात काही कार्य केलेलं आहे तर सरांनी त्यांचा कॉन्टॅक्ट नंबर शेअर केला तर मी नक्कीच त्यांना करून देऊ शकतो त्यांचे कम्युनिकेशन ऍज वेल सर तुम्ही जर मेंबर असाल तर उत्तम नसाल तर टेक फॉरम मेंबर होऊन जा तुमच्या अनेक प्रश्नांना इथे कोण ना कोण तुम्हाला सपोर्ट देणार नक्की मिळेल मला वाटतं तुमच्या प्रश्नाचं उत्तर सरांनी दिलंय लेटेस्ट मू टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मिस्टर जी एस या नावाने कोणतरी आपल्याकडे अटेंडन्ट झालेत Please oh. introduce yourself and your question. Hello, this is uh, Gautam here. Hello. Um, uh, thanks for your talk. Uh, in terms of the project that I'm looking at is a multi-PCB panel to be t- tested. I do not have much of background in the test <laughs> equipment. Um, in terms of the... Uh, heart of the equipment uh, the processor or uh, or a card or uh, or, or what um, of a similar um, block there was one suggestion made about using equipment from ni and as you rightly put it the cost factor does not allow me to to, to use that right now do you have any experience uh, 
using board uh, open source boards like uh, raspberry pis and what is your take on it uh sir my take on it is that uh, it, it's a varied uh, opinion you'll find but my personal opinion is that raspberry pi is a completely hobby board so if you want to make it just for uh, purpose of trial or not not for not supplying anyone then you can definitely try raspberry pi there are so many hundreds of them actually available you can select any one and you can go ahead there is no issue but uh is for selecting that sbc single board computer as they are known as uh, we have to be very selective you can if you want to give it as a product basically so we also use raspberry pi sometimes but with appropriate knowledge that what can happen uh, based on that and you will find hundreds of sbcs and they are all available across india there is no issue you can use that absolutely no problem so here it is uh, purely for in house uh, 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 testing uh, did you do you have any other uh, suggestion apart from uh, the uh, the pi because there are so many variants out there uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there there is one called olimex there is another called nano pi there are hundreds of them i would say right. arduino so so many of them okay so you can just select whatever is available whatever knowledge you have uh, and you can go ahead there is no problem thank you okay. thank you thank you i think that was last question uh, any more questions left okay i think i must thank uh, girish ranade for this wonderful Welcome. presentation and equally good uh, question and answer session thank you sir